What's up guys, Kawasaki Nin here. I'm excited. I'm going to be doing a huge crystal opening, so get ready. Um, since there's the featured uh, Summoner Appreciation going on right now uh, event for the three year anniversary, there's a uh, gold boost going on, so right away, let's pop open all my gold crystals. I got so many gold crystals. I've been saving them since the last gold boost. I don't even know when that was, so... You can see a lot of crystals we got here we're going to be opening up. First crystal we're going to pop is the gold crystals. Where are those? Not the uncollected daily crystals. We will open those. Here we go. Well, we're just going to be popping these. We got 400 gold crystals with a 20% gold boost. Nice. Anything over 100k would be like a crazy amount. Gold crystals give between 2.5k to 50k per crystal. So if you see a huge jump, it might have pulled a 50k. There's a week's AQ donations out of 60 crystals. So we're going to be good on donations for a long time now. I trade gold for loyalty with someone in my alliance so that way I can use my loyalty for different items like potions and boosts and stuff just because I play a lot of arena and I get a lot of gold so gold for me isn't too restricting for when I want to level up champs. In my last battle chip opening I got like 6 million gold so that really taught me up. Hopefully I can last until this time next year before I need gold again. 250, we're at a mil. Over a mil now, 270, that's good. These are really bad value for buying with units. You never want to buy gold crystals. 1.19. Like, I don't even know how many units this would cost to buy this in gold. Times 400 by 20. Oh man, that's like 8,000 units in gold crystals for this much gold, that's terrible. And we're almost done, and we're at 1.5 and 1.57 mil, and that's 400 crystals with a 20% boost going, you can see here. So, that's a decent haul. Let's keep opening crystals. We're going to get a crazy summon advancement score this week. Let's open up all these solo crystals. If I've never gotten alpha from these, but if I got an alpha, that'd be crazy. Let's just get them all in there, and then we'll pop these open. How many more do I have to claim? Okay, and a couple more. Here we go. First 10. Generally, if you can get a 4 star sig for 10, that's pretty lucky. The arena boost, not that useful, but I just chuck the overflow ones on and save the rest for if I actually go for a champion. I haven't granted a basic in a really long time just because 4 stars aren't that great anymore. No signature stones yet. Come on. And 1, 2. Two. That's good. For 30, that's a little below average. If we can get one more, it'll be great. The three star ones are good too as well. So one, two. Two for 40. Eh. Three. Okay. A little bit below average, but I'll take it. A lot of boosts will be in my overflow now. We got crazy amount of these solo crystals, so the lesser ones. I'm going to be opening all these, putting, maxing out all my two stars that aren't maxed yet, and then opening up, I'm not sure how many I'm going to get of the one and two star crystals, the new ones, but I'm going to be getting some, because I want new champs to level, because if you look at my roster, I got all my one, two, and three stars all maxed, so I don't really have anyone to level, and all my champs are 30s, and I have a ton of 40s already, so... Let's wrap it open these ones up. Oh, 
And last crystal, what did we get there? Good, good signature stones there. I'm pretty happy with that. Some boosts. But yeah, on average it's really good for the signature stones. Not too many awakening gems, I'm really happy with that. Alright, let's check our summoner advancement, see how we're doing. So, 49k, not bad. Getting up there. Mutant advancement's going. I do have a 4 star mutant character level, uh, Psylocke, so I'm going to be popping this crystal up in my next video, so stay tuned. It'll be coming today. Um, as regards to these crystals, um, yeah, we can spin out this 4 star, but let's get to some other crystals first that we're going to open. These ones I'll be buying a lot of once I put my 6 stones in, and then I'll be doing an opening for them. Okay. Let's open up uh, this War Challenger Crystal. A uh, Revive would be nice. Or Potion. I'll take it. Okay. My Tier 4 situation. I got room for some Tier 4s. So I'm going to be opening up all my map crystals right now. Let's get these opened up. Formed 1 skill. Interesting. I'm going to need those for Taskmaster. Formed attack. Oh, and I found a full basic. That's awesome. That's pretty lucky. I'm happy with that already out of all of these if that's the only one I find. Okay. Formed another basic. I don't really have too many basics in my overflow, so that's fine. It'd be nice if we could get alphas in here too, but I'll just have to stick with what I got so far. Um, yeah, nothing more new here. The shards is okay. Mystic, I'm halfway to one. Science, halfway. Mutant, to third. That's okay. Nothing there, and last seven we got. Okay, so just one basic. That's pretty good. I'm happy. Let's check out now the map 6 crystals. You can see here I got 16 tier 4 class. I don't really need to worry too much about tier 4 class, but if you think about that, every 6 is one probably for the class you need. So I basically have almost 3 for any class that I need, but you can get really unlucky. You could open all that and just get one mystic. So it seems like a lot, but it's not great. Tier 2 Alpha Shards is what I want. 200. That's not bad. Tier 2 Alpha seems to be coming pretty quick now from the uncollected difficulty, so I'm not too worried about missing out there, but that's okay. The actual Shard 4 Star Crystals, I don't really care about opening. The Tier 1, 2, and 3 Callus, I don't really care about opening. Okay, let's see here. I save these two stars for soul events. When I'm close to the last milestone, I'll just pop a couple to reach it. Uh, okay, let's open up these uncollected daily crystals. We got 16 here. Two 12 alpha shards would be amazing. I haven't got a four star yet, so let's see what I get. Formed uh, basic. Nice. Any tier 2 alpha? I think I've only gotten tier 2 alpha once since these came out. And nothing. Just the basic was formed. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you guys are excited now. I'm going to be opening up um, some signature stones here. Let's pop open these ones quick. We'll open up all my signature stones. So that's decent. Um open up these four star signature stones oh man I don't know if I want to open that many because a lot of the skill ones are going to go into my overflow but maybe we'll just open up 20 of these just to see where we're at okay no skill that's decent 
looking good. We got a good mix there. Let's open up our five star signature stones. I'm gonna be opening my Taskmaster crystal in a couple minutes, so there'll be another video for that. Let's open these five star signature stones. We got ten from the quest or from the summon appreciation. So I'm looking for Mystic, Science, and Skill. And Mystic and Science, I got really lucky there, so that's great. Let's open up two more. And looking awesome. That's great. Okay, anything else we can open? Let's open the Summoner Choice Crystal now. See who we get for Summoner Choice. Uh, I would take a Mephisto. Um, a Kingpin. I don't have those champs. Stark is already 99. Star Lord's 99. I don't have Archangel, so that'd be good. Um, Hyperion, I don't really care about, but he's not duped yet. So let's see who we get out of the Summoner Appreciation Crystal. And I'm going to stop it now. And we're landing on Archangel! <laughs> nice! That's sweet. He's so useful, like Labyrinth or anywhere, so... I'm definitely going to be bringing him up pretty quickly. I don't know about awakening him. I don't have a gem. Just basic gray gems, but... Even unduped, he's really good. Okay, let's open up a 4-star crystal now, see who we get for that. I almost have two 4-stars. Maybe I'll try to open some crystals and pop another 4-star. Out of these, I'm just looking for anybody new. And anyone that I don't have duped, duped would be nice. And yeah, a dupe on Archangel would be hilarious. A uh, Mordor Green Goblin would be awesome. I would probably slowly bring them up just to increase the prestige by a tiny amount. And Black Bolt. Nah, not bad. He's already duped. Let's see where he's at now. 660. Alright. Let's try to get another 4 star crystal to open. So I need 400 shards. We can get that. Let's open up um, five three stars. Oh, nice mix there. That's nice. Okay, with the max signature crystals, we should probably be able to reach another four star crystal. So let's quickly open those ones up. Max signature crystals. Here we go. Four star shards. Good. How close are we now? And we're ready to roll. We are over. Okay. Let's try again. <laughs> See who we get this time. Um, man, another dupe on Archangel would be hilarious. Carnage wouldn't be bad. He's got good prestige. At this point, I have almost all the four stars, so... The chance of me getting somebody new isn't that great. I have about 30 max sig 4 stars, so a max sig crystal is awesome too. And Scarlet Witch. I don't play girl champions, so for me this is kind of pointless, but... If she's... No, she's not even that highly duped. Oh well. I used... I didn't really use her much, but like for a long time at, at level 30, she was stronger than all my 50s, so... She used to be amazing. Alright guys, well I think that's it for this opening. Let me just double check if there's anything else to open. And... No? Oh, we can open up these Alliance Crystals. We got 40 of these. Let's quickly pop these. 1 3 star, a couple good boosts there. Or 3 2 stars, never mind. It's a good time to pop these now, just to sell those EXP boosts with the gold boost. And no three stars. And yeah, second batch wasn't as great, but... 
I don't buy these every time, but I'll, I'll pick them up once in a while just to try to get some boost out of them. So, I'll be back with the Taskmaster opening, guys. See you later.